Okay, welcome to episode 82 of my 248k modded Factorio run on a ribbon world with a 10 times science multiplier. And it's definitely time to make make this thing work. This is the new purple and yellow science build. It's all built now and it's not running. And we do have the stone getting in here, but none of the other resources are getting in here. Um, we gotta we gotta do that. So we've snapped it off the grid. This is now its own RoboPort network that's got a couple of construction bots so let's get rid of those i'm um, four construction bots those can stay and yeah time to time to go and put these things on the rest of the grid and actually get some stuff built out this one also has to connect um, and yeah then there's there's this little weird pattern over here actually can we now it'd be fine this lubricant train will not need to visit much at all um this one is apparently outside of okay um, let's move this to like here and then have some of the stuff am I requesting train fuel here as well I don't remember if I'm requesting train fuel I don't think I'm requesting train fuel no um, so all these trains are gonna turn up that's gonna be fine um, and then we'll also just I guess check on check on how this setup does in terms of whether or not it has all the inputs it needs because all these yeah all these things are getting kind of busy now that's fine that's kind of the plan um yeah other things we need to do were i don't have request chests with me maybe maybe the other network has request chests because there are a couple of things that we will need to hop into the network and i guess we can do it over here and not get hit by things because this is kind of close to where the other network is. Yeah, so we're going to need a number of things. Yeah, the other network has these. It's fine. Um, we are going to need, actually, more more longhand inserters as well. Um, here and then... Yeah, they don't need to be this far apart, whatever. And um, they could also be down here by this power pole, couldn't they? Um, yeah, so... And then these are also going the wrong way. This is this pattern here is more or less what we want to use to get the rest of the resources into the base um, and then there are a couple of things that we want like we want to bring in these uranium fuel cells um because actually over here these guys want to be um because we do have um oh wait these guys yeah all these all these trains are stopping by bringing all the stuff but what we really need to do is give this network its own logistics bots um so it's now got 300 logistics bots and the first step of all the stuff is to ah we also need to give this dedicated storage do i have i don't actually have storage chests on me um that's cool do i have somewhere there must be some storage chests that i can queue somewhere uh these guys um, because we also want to do the dedicated storage thing so that we can, yeah, not have everything sitting in these chests. But that's fine. Okay, so things we want to shuffle over include nuclear fuel, because various assemblers need nuclear fuel. Oh, also, yeah, not all these requests are done at the moment, are they? Um, one of these should also definitely be requesting nuclear fuel, so these guys get nuclear fuel. Um, okay, things that we want to shuffle out are the spent nuclear fuel. And then this also wants to not have too much of it there, which is fine. And then we also want to power all of these inserters, because that's also important. Um, what else? So drill bits we didn't need to worry about. Train fuel was the other thing that we needed to shuffle in, wasn't it? Um, so let's just grab a copy of that and then change this to train fuel. And there might be some other stuff turning up, but whatever, we can just... Yeah, just like request 50 train fuel and then you can have four stacks of train fuel and then all these guys can get all the train fuel they want okay so that's fine you're also taking you're also taking a delivery of um nuclear fuel that's also fine okay give me all of these things back um do i not have bots at the moment why did why did no i do have bots okay just the grid decided to do that instead of letting my bots do it okay um things we need to make work oh we've already got so the things making furnaces are getting oh but they're not requesting fiberglass because we're not getting fiberglass uh did we not have train station is active maybe we didn't get oh here's the fiberglass okay so that all worked out just fine these guys are going to get the fiberglass they're going to start running and um, these 
one of these assemblers, and I don't really mind which. Ah, this is also going to need another filtered output because we need to get the used fuel cells out of this thing. So that's fun. Um, we're... I guess we put that over here. Um, oh, we've got a couple, a bunch of these. Okay, so this is fine. So this is going to only move um, our nuclear fuel, our spent nuclear fuel, and then this one, which we don't really care about, is also going to request, say, 10 of the fuel that this thing needs. And now it can run. And... Yeah, so that's going to be fine. This is going to do a thing. Uh, yes, yeah, so let's just continue. Actually, we need to get these things out of the way. And then we can basically just copy this brick. And put that like so. And then all of these guys should just continue to do a thing and be fine. Um, yeah, then we also needed... Yeah. We've got to find somewhere to put all of this. Because we don't really want all this stuff sitting around in these act provider chest it's not great actually the first thing we're going to do is yeah first of all move all of these things and i think the way i wanted to set this up is how about you i think we're going to run into possibly even stack and insert a rail limit issues so we're going to want i guess the furnaces and productivity modules in one of these um furnaces and pod mods and we should be building all of these and then the other wants the titanium, uh, which is going to be a fission stage thing. Uh, how about you get yourself 200 titanium, because I'm pretty sure that these things needed, yeah, not nearly as much as rail, but that's fine. Okay, um, these two chests, we can just copy around the place. And all of, yeah, so, so this yellow science is not running because I don't have neodymium. But I did have neodymium. Maybe you guys just need to be stack inserters. Maybe the Neodymium one needs to be a stack inserter. Uh, who knows? It should be fine. I mean, I only need three per cycle, and I'm not sharing this with too many other boxes. Um, but I guess we're doing this with stack inserters. That is the call. Uh, stack inserters there. Copy this thing. Get the rest of this yellow science running. Um, get stuck on stuff. That's pretty traditional as well. Yeah, we still also need to get these other... Neodymium, 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 and we need to get these other storage things in place so that everything isn't hanging around in the actual provider box, but not so important as apparently doing this. I didn't think this was necessary. Um, and also, whatever, doing unnecessary things also kind of fine. Um, so everything here is running and looks like it's working on the grounds that we are, in fact, producing purple science. And then, these guys got fuel. These guys are stuck because steel. Interesting. Um, maybe we just need more steel trains? What are you turning off at? You're turning off at 4K? You are... Not yet running? Why are you not running? You should be... Oh, because there's a single fish... Um, I'm not entirely sure how that happened. Um, you just keep going. Did I... I guess fish ended up in here at some point? Or there's a storage chest somewhere? Who knows? Um, but we've also ended up with... Yeah, some weird nonsense has happened here. We've got, we've got logistics bots in provider chest. I'm not entirely sure how that happened, but whatever. Um, yeah, let's... Yeah, we're gonna have to get this train over here at this point, at some point. Um... We do need, actually, let's do that first, because one of the other things that I did in between is I was so confident in getting this science station running that the yellow science has actually been turned off. Like, all of these inputs have been, like, disconnected, and this yellow science is no longer running. So we kind of need to, I guess there's several things to do, and then we can have the bots start to repack this station because we're just not going to need it. Um, this is on a different grid, so I don't really mind giving all these bots different jobs. Um, and then, do I have... Maybe I have somewhere making drone parts in the main base? Not even sure. Um, but we can just also get... Do I think I need any of this? I don't think I need any of this. We're just going to discontinue this entire block and not worry about it. Uh, so bots going to have a lot of jobs over there, and then the science train, um, 
not that train that I accidentally clicked on. Somewhere there's a science train uh, by labs, which might also not be big enough now either. Uh, we don't want either of these sciences anymore. Those will no longer exist. We want to go to somewhere there is a train station. This one. Um, with 30 seconds is probably going to be fine. Yeah, so this is... Is 300 seconds? I don't think 300 seconds is what I want here anymore. Um, let's, I mean, not having really done any math, and this will also, based on how much wagon space there is, determine kind of my, my throughput there, because this journey might take a while, but whatever. Um, also, we've got, we're going to have some new trains soon, so that's exciting. Um, yeah, let's continue setting these. We need to put the rest of these chests somewhere, so that logistics bots have some place to store the items. And I'm actually going to do this differently. I'm going to put these in... Yeah, somewhere there was a fish here. Um, I guess the fish is just also going into... I'll have the fish. I don't know why you had a fish. Whatever. Um, yeah, we're going to configure these in the other network so that bots don't put... Actually, it probably doesn't matter if we put random things in random places. Um, and then also the other one was iron. Um, and those things are things that need to be over here. And now bots can go and unpack all of that stuff. Um, there's space to sneak these things in here, so I think we might. Um, where's... Yeah, it doesn't... As long as the bots have... Let's give them some more bots. Because this, I guess, is a fairly high throughput item, isn't it? Um, let's check that... Okay, all of these are disabling now, which is good. Um, but where is this train? You're just on your way. Okay, fine. Um, that is a situation that's acceptable. The thing I did want to check is whether or not these... Neither of these cargo wagons are limited, so that's good. Um, in fact, let's just, let's just help a bit. Because if you get back to... Like, you can start doing science once you start, or at least, you know, enable science to be done. Um, so then on this side, there are, yeah, a lot more items that are now kind of crapping up all of these storage chests. And I just guess we just cram them through the middle here, because that's fine. Things, things we want to receive are batteries. I don't know if batteries are going to keep up either. Um, and then also all three kinds of chips... And then also, I'm making engines here, aren't I? Um, steel, what else? Oh, fiberglass? Fiberglass and ceramic stuff. And um, then all three kinds of the rich water metals, uh, which I'm not sure whether or not this is going to be a sufficient plan for that either. Uh, things, things to not worry about yet. Uh, fiberglass. Fiberglass is here. And then also all three kinds of rich water metal plates. I'm really not sure that rich water is going to keep up. Um, I think that's, I mean, that's kind of where we built the new rich water node last time. Um, but also, we're not actually moving around the, the, the rich powder, which was supposed to be how that was going to work. Um, batteries, composites, titanium. Yeah, I think we've... And then the, the lubricant, you know, clearly doesn't need a storage chest. That's not even how that works. Do we have nine boxes over here? We do. Okay. And all of these have a different item that they are storing. Yes. Okay. So I'm going to copy this thing. Uh, maybe we get like four or five copies of this. Um, but basically, where's the middle? Here's the middle. Uh, have I run out of... I think I've run out of storage chests. Um, okay. That's fine. Uh, we can do the same thing of uh, getting stuck on pipes. Uh, I'm not going to do that many. And then requesting that... Yeah, there we go. The main grid network, which is just here. It's not too far away. Um, bring us all the boxes we wanted. So that now bots can empty out those active providers. And this is allegedly a station that is fully online. And hopefully is running. Um, yeah, any any particular like the gear and pipe assembly. I'm not surprised if they are slow at all. I'm not particularly surprised if the engines or even the electric engines stop. Um, why don't you have fuel? 
Did you not... Oh, you didn't get... You didn't get this configuration. Uh, so that's going to be... Yeah. Do we even need that? I probably don't. I mean, I don't even think I'm using... I'm pretty sure I'm not using four full belts of stone over here. But, but it was easier to just kind of, like drop this pattern in, which actually only just fitted. Yeah, we've got we've got four full belts of stone, which we're not fully using, but whatever. Um, and then these guys are all of yeah, all of these drill requests are still in the main logistic grid storage, so that's nice. And then we've got, yeah, this much this much stone being cooked. We've got a bit of belt braiding in here, which is fine. Um, apparently the furnaces have stopped. Oh no, you don't oh you didn't actually you actually, yeah, that was actually not complete. Always check your builds are running and doing anything. Um, but it's kind of fine. We don't actually need that much stone. Especially if... Especially if we're not actually using all these furnaces. But as long as... Why are you not running? You're not running because low density structure. Um, okay. You're also not running because low density structure. So we... This is telling me that we actually need to bump... A couple of things. Um, do I, I don't have any of these. I've got one. Okay. Uh, we are going to again do this trick where we have the other network bring us more stuff. And we are going to have the yeah, give me give me one of these things that's keyed for low density structure. And we are going to do a thing where Yeah, we're just gonna we're just gonna cram in some more storage here, and then we're gonna find the low density structure train station and bump this from 400 to say a thousand which is a hundred stacks of LDS because they're one per stack but we should be able to support that with the storage just fine because we've got multiple boxes um, so hopefully that means we have a larger amount of this stuff here is steel also are you guys I mean but it also, like, the steel is a different thing because it's also cased through the middle of several of these assemblers. Also, like, there's the, the kind of the intermediate rail and furnace buffers as well. But I think we do want to... Yeah, we're going to change this one to steel. And then also this one. This gives us a total of, like, three or four steel. I think that's four steel, uh, but then we want to change this. It's already less than four thousand. Um, is that a lot of steel? Do I just want more steel? I think we're going to go with more steel. Um, we're going to go with less than eight thousand, um, because I guess if if some of this sits around in some of these active providers, that's not too bad. Um, and these guys are requesting 400 each. I th is that even enough to fill a train? That's not even. This isn't even enough to fill a train, is it? Uh, do I have? Yeah, we're gonna do. We're gonna do. We're gonna expand the rate at which these. Actually, let's change this first because I decided that 400 is not an amount of cache science that makes me happy. Uh, we are going to cache 800 each, each of those, and then same with the purple science. Uh, because, yeah, we would rather have these caches very quickly filling this train. And this is, yeah, this is a thing that, that is fine, isn't it? And then, are these guys still... Yeah, this is the same thing that I was wondering about. I'm wondering whether all of these bots are using the robo-ports because they're, they're, they don't have jobs, and so they're going to park themselves in the robo-port, and so because they're low on charge and going back to a robo-port, they're not using a charging station. So this might actually be better if I had fewer bots who were more permanently used. Um, but also, it's probably fine. I've still got a lot of bots sitting around there. They're not really worried about things. And so we're now requesting... Yeah, 800 is... 800 is four stacks. So this is... more than... This is actually still not quite enough to fill a train, is it? Uh, yeah, so it's... Whatever. I don't even think of that I'm making that much anyway. Um, but let's... Yeah, we have progressed some future train tech stuff, which is nice. Let's also have a look at, in the last hour, we should see uh, the yellow and purple science. 
hopefully at about the same rate, but if they're not, then... Oh wow, these guys are not even close to the same rate. Um, so yeah, so we're, we're experiencing some issues guaranteeing the consistency of supply, uh, but this is this is where our purple and yellow science was previously, and this is where it was dead because I was ambitious and turning a thing off and didn't get the, the other one enabled yet, and then this is where we are now, at, yeah, 1.3 thousand? I was kind of expecting this to hit 1.5 thousand, uh, but also, whatever, I don't even think that's going to be my biggest problem yet, I think my biggest problem, actually, uh... Yeah, I can't even do that for me, can I? Because, so why aren't, ah, you guys don't have, you guys didn't get, yeah, we're going to have to request those from the other thing as well, because, um, you guys want fuel, you guys are requesting the used stuff, but that's fine, and then the drill bits are over here, yeah, I need, I need bots to bring me these things, except bots don't actually have these things, um, I should have taken this one, I, yeah, so we're getting the train fuel, then we need another long hand inserter. Are bots bringing me these? No. Okay, so we don't even... So we've got to, got to come back for this at some point. But there's so much of this hanging around. Like, yeah, these, these guys are... There's actually a couple of nuclear assemblers, aren't there? Actually, wait, did I... Is this, Are these other nuclear assemblers set up to actually have... Because there are a couple of... Okay, so the pipes is an exception. But the modules are also in a situation of... Yeah, I might need to do this differently. Because these modules might... Okay, so the ones the ones that are closer will. The ones that are further away might never be able to unload their used cells. Uh, that's also a problem I'm going to worry about later, because we've got other things to do. Um, we wanted to first... Uh, do I have... I do not have... Um, I don't have any of those tier 3 beacons, but never mind. I think we're going to go and do a different thing first anyway. Um, and I think we need to find somewhere to put a rocket silo. And I think it may as well be like over here or something. Uh, there are going to be... Yeah, the other things... The other things that I wanted to do, which I guess I can still do from the map, is all of these are super fast now. Um, 10.5 is a ridiculous speed to be getting um, all of all of this productivity bonus as well, but also the other kinds of science are now not going to be keeping up. So the thing I was thinking about doing, which I kind of can't do because... Oh no, wait! These should be in the other grid. They should have... The other bots should have these beacons. Um, actually, I don't even need to do this yet. We can run down. We can run down some of these buffers and then worry about boosting these again. But these all need to just go faster uh, because, because yeah, because we're going to need the rest of those sciences to keep up. But that's fine. Things we don't need to worry about yet. Um, give me this back. We want to put. Yeah, we've now got to, yeah, getting space science up to speed and then getting exotic science up to speed. Because I think everything else we have to do... Oh, here's one that doesn't take exotic speed. We're going to get worker robot speed 10. That's fine. Um, yeah, everything else we need to do has exotic science and space science and things like... Yeah, this is, this is why we need to get this new big science online because we can look at future trains too and go you know hundred thousand science that's quite a lot but we've just built a thing that is allegedly one and a half thousand science a minute uh, because we need to go into things like exotic stabilizers half a million science and then after exotic stabilizers black holes a million science white holes a million science and um, these ones are also okay so those are yeah what we're going to call small now oh well but then this end game sequence which i was expecting to ramp up in the same way that the star engine sequence does but it doesn't but these are all still what how many one two three four five six seven eight nine so there's another million science in here as well and then the other one that doesn't look like a million science but actually is is the the beacon duplication tech, which looks like it's 20k, or at least we need 20k of the yellow and red cubes, but it's 50 of every normal science 
and also exotic science per tick. So you multiply this out and you do in fact find that there's another million science here. So we're looking at, yeah, 1 million science, uh, 2 million, 3 million, uh, roughly 4 million, roughly 4.5 million science. Uh, without necessarily going off to get any other things as well, which we probably also will need, like more beacons or maybe some better effectivity recipes. Do these matter at all? I mean, I'm already producing a surplus of those, but also running out of those is kind of bad. So, so yeah, in order for to in order to justify having this nice large thing which is now allegedly doing yeah this this thing here is the entire one and a half thousand science per minute yellow and purple science which is uh pretty wild actually i think i think this train needs to go significantly faster i think this needs to come back to say 50 seconds because yeah if we if we're looking at this rate we 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 used to be about about 360 um science per minute and then we are yeah multiplying that by maybe five so i don't know if we're going to have all the rest of the resources to keep up with this either um as long as these beacons stay on that's going to be fine um yeah, I think we're I think we're gonna like see what else we need to expand in terms of intermediates to pour into that thing to keep it going, but also um, we need to get these silos down and start beaconing these silos and getting work done here because I actually think it really matters. Um, yeah, because we've got to get all of these guys running as well, and I'm wondering where I can put things. That will allow me to maximally beacon all of them because we're going to do this with a train supply as well we want this thing to request like three satellites and then uh, we're going to have inserters in each of these places and then longhand inserters that i don't have so this is also going to be another cool build that doesn't have all of its parts but we we're always going to have to come back for this anyway and we were also always going to have to um, yeah, come back and build the rest of the rail supply for this as well, because I think this is, actually, is this an, is this a good spot? I think this is a fine spot. We can even, we can snap this off the grid, which is the plan, but it's, it's like, it's not too far from the LDS and rocket fuel. I guess we could even move it further down here if we wanted. Um, the, the RCUs are also not too far away. And then the science train can also just turn up here. So I think this is going to be a decent spot. And then I do have some of these beacons. We're definitely going to need more of these beacons. Um, yeah. And then How many of these am I going to be able to wedge in here is the question. Um, yeah, speed module all these guys, speed module these guys, speed module this guy as well. Thanks. Um, let's do this with like appropriate power poles as opposed to like sad little power poles uh, because, because they're going to enjoy it more. Um, yeah, beacon these things. I guess this means we're also doing we're also doing inputs as requests as well and I guess with me putting them on this side we're going to have the inputs here and the outputs over here I guess that's what's gonna happen um, but we're gonna want yeah actually the the same the same three normal sets of rocket component things uh, let's crank this up to say 150 which is the same thing that we had yeah, it's the easier way to turn 110 to Are these yeah okay so um and then we're going to want stack inserters i guess that's going to be i guess part of the plan and then we have some of these things here and then here um and then so yeah three silos to do a hundred and thirty thousand science or yeah one thousand five hundred science per minute is like not all that much um 
but it's probably fine. And then I guess we also need to do some output boxes here. And then also, I guess, a combinator thing. Uh, which, and then, uh, so the inserters over here are going to be, okay. I mean, that's going to be, that's going to be a lot of space storage, space science storage. So I'm not super worried about that. Um, and then, yeah, we just tie this thing up to count how much space science is in there. Um, and we'll do this, you know, pretty, pretty standard thing that I probably could have just copied from somewhere else rather than re-implementing again. Um, but yeah, this is going to sum the space science, output the space science, and then we want to run this if the space science is, say, less than 10,000. Which is going to be a lot of space science, but also I'm fine with having a lot of space science. Um, having a lot of space science is kind of the point. Um, so, where can I then also fit these combinators? Uh, we're going to have to move this guy slightly, and then it does connect, which is nice. And then is... It will actually reach the entire way. Okay, that's nice. Um, have it this way around. Yeah, I need to bring a lot of stuff back. Um, and then also, let's also check on not the power grid of the thing that is not connected at all, but how is yeah. So this is this is kind of okay. The like we have turned on that new purple and yellow science build. I didn't think it was going to be an issue because most of the power grid is it's not. It's not actually the assemblers, it's the cores that are the big issue. And then, yeah, then this, this thing will tie to this inserter. And now we have a place that if we can connect things, um, will be a nice little way to get a lot of space science in here. Um, so let's have this thing like so. And this is going to be where we um, get rid of these trees. And then also have... So this is going to be how we get space science in here. Do I still have train stations? I do still have train stations. Um, all of this space science is going in the third wagon. So I reckon I arrange this so that the third wagon is the one that is closest to... Because the next thing we're doing is we're also doing just... Yeah, third wagon here. A lot of space science. Um, I don't have those on me, maybe, I mean, we are still in the other grid, we have not snapped this off, off the other grid yet, so, uh, that could actually be, I mean, it could be closer, couldn't it, it could be another two squares closer, uh, are we going to bother with that, I think we might, let's, let's do all of this, and then, yeah, here's a place it can go, so that's fine, uh, move this one as well, being nice to bots by giving them like slightly more concise jobs. Why are you guys not? You guys should definitely have storage somewhere. If I moved things around so much that the storage is full. No. So. But these grids are connected. So why are these? Are these. Okay, you were just faffing around, waiting for a thing to happen. Okay, sure, whatever. No, don't know why that happened. Never mind. Um, yeah, this can be over here, and then we can have some more power in here, like so. Um, so this is all still not powered. Okay, now we're all powered. Um, okay, so we are requesting rocket parts we don't have all the beacons built yet what speed are these even on um and does it matter and am i just going to beacon things harder later probably yes um let's also have one of these things down here because we are going to need to yeah we've got to do the rocket fuel thing as well rocket fuel thing 
train fuel thing. Uh, let's just copy this one, because this one also has the request when we get around to actually building it. Um, okay, so... I think... I actually think... What I do... Like, I'm imagining having... Yeah, this, this train... This train station is going to be... The space science, but I think what I do is I have both the satellites and the space science from the same station. Um, yeah, that's going to be the plan. And then over here, in this, from this last wagon, uh, we are going to have, uh, yeah, do we not have those either? We don't have those either. Cool. Um, bots will put those back when we have them and keep all the circuit conditions that's fine um over here we are going to have these two yeah this, we're gonna do we're gonna do kind of a silly thing this train which is the same train we've currently been looking at is going to have the first two wagons being yellow and purple science then space science then the last wagon we're going to move satellites backwards and forwards and so satellites are going to turn up here, which is going to be fine. Satellites will jump into this box over here, which is requesting only three, but it's probably going to be fine. It could probably only request one. I'm pretty sure these don't need... I'm pretty sure they only stack to one. So, uh, oh, actually, these guys also needed their configurations. They didn't have the space science check. That's kind of a big deal. Um, so yeah, so each of these silos will launch rocket when they get around to doing a thing. And then the last thing to do is... Is this the last thing to do? This is not even the last thing to do. Um, where is... It is this one. Um, one of these setups here is... Oh, it's this one over the side, isn't it? It's this one that has LDS and steel. Um, we want the LDS version of this, which is just going to let us not copy quite so many configurations and um, we can put it like right here i reckon and as like this isn't touching the other grid so like these these train stations yeah we've got we've got an lds request which is fine um let's actually bump this now we can we could probably leave it that's going to be an entire rocket's worth of stuff um okay lds request and then also this is going to be, yeah, rocket control units less than a thousand, and then rocket fuel less than a thousand, and then we'll also change these to, where is, these rocket fuel, and we'll supplement one, um, and then also we need, oh, we do still need the rubber ports over here as well, that's the other thing that I did not bring with me, that I did not bring with me, and also charging, oh no, we've got, we don't have, we don't have the, yeah, we don't have the charging stations either, um, rocket fuel, please RCUs, and the trains I think at the moment are gonna have a little bit of a struggle, because, um, they, this is a station that they might try to path through, except they can't, so, that's gonna be some fun for them, um, okay, so yeah, we need, we need robo ports, we need to put, we need to put satellites in, I guess, the main mall, and then we just also need to go around and build the rest of this stuff. Um, and let's also just, let's just add some more speed to these, because we can, because that's how it works. Everyone likes go fast. Um, is this one going to be... That one's actually not, not going to be powered anywhere, and that's a bit of a shame. I guess you guys are getting weirdly offset um, from the silo. Never mind. Okay. Um, yeah, so we're not going to connect that yet, because otherwise these trains will turn up and then dump a bunch of stuff in here, which will be kind of bad. Uh, but we do want... Uh, that's actually... Yeah, okay. We are going to actually move these ones, because we need to be able to get power poles in here. Uh, to make sure that all of these inserters are all powered. 
Uh, okay, and then we also need to do, oh yeah, also the storage boxes thing. Um, cool, I guess we come back with storage boxes once we also connect this up. So this is, I guess most, I don't think this station needs to do a whole lot. I think that's probably all of what it needs to do mostly. Um, but we are about to finish this trains tech, which is fine. Um, the, what do we need to do to actually build these things? Um, HLP magnets, which we don't have yet. Combined matter, which is fine. Compact fusion cells, which we'll talk about in a bit. Yeah, the only thing we need to do are, uh, that's new are these HLP magnets. And I don't know if I need to do... Like, do I need to make these magnets for a small infrastructure build that will slowly kick out a couple of trains as we're wandering through the science? Or do I need to do a science-sized build? build um these things so these matter charges need the magnets as well but the exotic matic stabilizers don't and um, the black holes probably do all oh, the black holes are the black holes and white holes are made from entire star engines okay entire star engines that's already already in the rubber port mall that's fine and then this deep data of which we need, I'm pretty sure, a lot. Because, yeah, we're now starting to look at the the last stage of the research and industry endgame. Um, we need a lot of this red data. We need a lot of deep data. Um, we've got to get these S-Labs to do S-Lab stuff fine. That's also magnets. This deep data actually doesn't need the magnets. I think the magnets I can do a small build, but I am seeing these HCP circuits, which means that those HCP circuits we do need to do on a scale that is basically science throughput mega base thing. And then this is combined matter, which is fine because we're doing that over in the module upgrade. Yes, yeah, so, so magnets, these magnets, um, these magnets, exotic stage, these magnets, uh, we only need to build, like, we don't need a constant throughput of these. We need a number of these for building trains and building black hole generators and building the things we need to make the, the buildings that will do the science, but we don't actually need to spend HLP magnets on science itself. Whereas the H HCP circuits we are going to need a lot of these because they turn into other science products. Like, they go into things that are late game science. Um, so I had I had a small version of this thing, yeah, a small version of the HCP circuits that I was kicking around that is this thing here, which I think I looked at and decided that I didn't really like the ratios. I think I concluded that... Was it the PCBs two seconds for one pcb and then these are one second for one pcb yeah i think i i think even with productivity bonuses i concluded that i that i kind of wanted maybe it does end up one to one with productivity and speed bonuses um but yeah we need to do that build much larger to be able to keep up with all the other things um but how are our labs at the moment um the other thing that I'm wondering about is whether we have, yeah, just a lot of science kicking around. I guess we put in these beacons because we've got all of this now. I could also just completely reorganize many of these things. Like, this this is, this is also, now that I've got the, like, the lab pattern of the yellow-purple science of, and also kind of the same with this this beacons upgrade area which is oh some of these guys are now producing at full rates are we still yeah we've got all the data cards and we're still just trying to get enough gauss 3 modules to do all the upgrades but we have made 22 gauss 5 modules which seems pretty big yeah several of these things yeah the difference between yeah, so this has two tier four modules and is 12% crafting speed, 10% productivity. And then when these modules upgrade, they go to 20% productivity. They have a bit of a crafting speed hit, but the crafting speed hit is still more than twice. Well, the, the productivity, yeah. The productivity, we go from 10% to 20%, which is basically the entire output because this this is the productivity bonus on the Coverex loop. And then we are losing what we're losing... 
we're losing slightly we're losing almost a third of our speed but also getting yeah we are doubling the output per cycle but then losing maybe a third of our speed so overall that's definitely still an improvement i wonder what these power grid uses are just like five megawatts versus five 5.3 5.29 um really how is it that I'm not entirely sure how upgrading those modules really is that energy consumption plus 200 percent energy consumption plus 300 percent but the one with 20 percent productivity has a lower power grid consumption than the one that still has okay whatever I'm not going to worry about that. Um, there were a bunch of things that we wanted to go and build. We wanted um, some longhand inserters, which are not even here. Okay, fine, because we want it down here. Um, we wanted some longhand inserters. Um, we wanted some regular beacons. Uh, we wanted more speed three modules. Um, actually, this is... A lot of that stuff was just standard, wasn't it? If I give you the beacons... And then also, what else did you need? Yeah, you can... 26 beacons? How many have I given you? 14. That's actually not enough, is it? Um, you take all of those. And then I also want... Yeah, here, here are the request chests that I wanted. I'm not going to need so many of those, but let's also add a request here for... Yeah, just like another 50 logistics qu request. Oh, and I am... Yeah, these, these robot ports I did also want... And then also charging stations. I don't have, I don't have a box around here. Oh no, here's here's a box with charging stations. I was just thinking that I needed a new one of these for actually not advanced robot ports. I don't need advanced robot ports, but thanks. I need just more charging stations, um, which I don't have. Why do I not have charging stations? Interesting. Um, is this going to be base diagnosis time again? I don't have charging stations because I don't have, I don't have advanced energy crystals. Um, I wondered if th at some point they would end up being a thing, uh, because where even is that? I haven't looked at those for a while. They were pretty much doing the thing they needed to, and yeah. So we've run. At one point, we did have a massive like overhead of these advanced crystals um, and we kind of poured them back into the build uh, we have now run out of that, that set of advanced crystals but it's fine we're now just going to start putting them in the network here um, I don't think I need I don't think I need enough of these to justify having a train station bringing these into the lodge mall I think we're just going to have we're just going to have this thing just like boxing all of them and it's probably fine because there aren't all that many things that we need um, these yeah you didn't need that you just need fiberglass fiberglass is also a thing I could be short of okay um, things yeah things those are all things that we have uh, you can go to that depot because then you will build all of the stuff over there that we want um, but actually what we want to do is um, yeah intercept Actually, just get rid of all of these things. Uh, yeah, we've got we've got a lot of stuff that, that, and then also take these off, because we're in the situation of trying to figure out how to discontinue one set of. Oh yeah, you're you're still just. Actually, let's get. Do I had did I get a satellite? I did not get a satellite. Have you not built a satellite? Okay. Um, I think the yeah, we're just gonna we're just gonna put all these things back in the logistics network. They will be a thing that bots will be happy to get. We'll figure out what to do with those later. It's fine. Um, yeah, because we're not getting science from here at all anymore. And yeah, I don't want to accidentally launch this rocket. Uh, getting all the productivity bonus would be nice, but I think these four silos, we straight up just leave here, and we just use for 
I mean, we need all of the data cards, but we've already got a surplus of data cards. And then after that, yeah, this ore, I think I saw somewhere, was it the exotic matter stabilizers? Black hole generators. Exotic matter stabilizers, yeah. Crushed exotic matter, which comes from deep space ore that I crush. So... I think the thing we're going to do is we want to get all these rockets just working on farming out some amount of... Actually, we can get, just put this back in the network. Um, in fact, we could just use the bots for all of this. Uh, all of all of this can go away. Uh, yeah, we want to get these rocket silos making the kinds of rockets that will just get us this ore because we want... We want all of that ore at this point. Um, should we... Am I worried at all about having... Not enough space science? Oh no, because... Yeah, we don't need to so much worry about getting the other node online yet. Because all of these rockets... Did still just... Make all of that work. Um, do we, yeah, and we still need this chain of rockets as well, don't we? Uh, I think... I think given that all of this is going to be bot generated, we just drop all of this. Yeah, and we launched we launched something there, and we launched a satellite that will give us some kind of thing, which is fine. Um Yeah, let's just get rid of get rid of these combinators. Yeah, we're gonna launch one of these rockets, it's fine. We're gonna redo all of this with logistic controls anyway. Um, I don't have any other rocket components in my base that I don't want. Um, and yeah, then... Yeah, all of these guys are still going to be building rockets. Um, and then... Do I need... This is... Yeah, this... This... Uh, exotic stage? The pink cards are a kind of thing that I get from, yeah, launching basic rockets, and then the pink cards go into this other space probe. But yeah, we need to, we need to, yeah, lodge them all, all of those things, actually, because the other thing to do back over here, these, this used to be where I was thinking about doing beacon science, but what we actually want to do is have things going on to the train and be requesting satellites um let's say 10 satellites each we're gonna have a lot of satellites here it's gonna be fine um yeah we're gonna request a lot of satellites they're gonna go on this train um i don't know that i limited the because i don't want a full wagon of satellites because that's silly uh, but we do want a lot of satellites um and then i guess we just yeah we just go over here satellites can i i can gauss module these so that's going to be a thing we do um and then i guess we also yeah we we stack insert a, this series of things because here we also want the sequence of you know one kind of probe and then a second kind of probe and then a third kind of probe and i reckon we yeah also all these chests are limited to two stacks so this is pretty fine all of these things we can in fact gauss module which is pretty exciting so i think as well as doing this here um yeah let's actually i probably just need to go to the other section of the base and grab yeah i wanted to come down here for some beacons because we wanted to beacon this one has basic beacons this one has basic beacons and um, we're gonna need I'm expecting that we need to beacon these these assemblers here because we are going to gauss module them so that they are nice and fast but this will also make them slow uh, let's put them like here uh, and then let's also swap these around so that Yeah, I think I need m the most of this space probe and the basic satellite. I think that's what we need. Um, not entirely sure. Not super concerned. 
yeah, we are, we are making these guys slightly faster, but then we are also going to wander over to... Which way does this go? It goes this way. I want... I actually want 16 Gauss modules for that, um, which is a lot of Gauss modules. Um, this is actually the wrong way after all of that. Cool. Yeah, here we go. Um, and we are... Yeah, we're still waiting on... Really? We're waiting... Oh, yeah, because the long head and inserter is the fuel inserter into the between the yeah it's the one that jumps across grids here is and this is on the the long head inserter on the inside of the grid is why that one is not working uh, but we've still got fuel there so it's fine and we're bringing a bunch of steel in and all the bots are happy and all that's fine as well and then over here yeah you've got five i want five um is there anywhere else that I can get? Yeah, we're still just waiting on these modules as well. Um, I think what I do, given that I'm not super concerned about... Yeah, I'm not super concerned about this process anymore because I've got a ton... I've got 2,000... I've got 2,000 of these matters. Um, okay, sure. Um, yeah, I think the way that we're going to get the Gauss modules we want is finding ones that haven't been upgraded yet and just taking these machines. That's a four and a five. Uh, this is craft speed 16. That means that we've still got... Uh, maybe that's why that speed gap was, was larger than I thought. Uh... This is... Yeah, Paragals Module 4s. Also a pair of Gauss Module 4s. Okay, so... Like, I'm not even super concerned about... whether or not these things get their modules now. They will be spinning around in a box for a while. We're going to hide all these modules so that my bots don't put them in places. Um, these guns are going to run without even their productivity bonuses for ages, which is a terrible way to be doing things, but also, actually, did they get the right recipe? They did. And then this, these, one, yeah, these ones here are the same, and then these ones are the other recipe. And, yeah, I don't even mind that those ones are going to spin around in a circle until they don't get all the stuff out. Like, these ones... These ones without modules are just going to be wasting, wasting their, just wasting time until they actually get the modules, but also whatever, because I've got all the stuff I need anyway. Um, do we have, yeah, let's make sure that all of these have at least got an upgrade from, what are we, exotic stage, that's, that's why, yeah. Make sure that all of these are the Gauss 5 build. This thing. Yeah, so, I mean, this is this is a terrible thing to do. It's much better to plug in the Gauss 1s and then upgrade them to the Gauss 2s later, but I've also already got way more of the stuff than I need, and it's not even a big deal. Um, so now we do have 17 Gauss modules, which we can now take back to... Where is the main part of the base? Not there, it's, yeah, over here. Over here is the pattern that I want to see. Um, actually, it's going to be in here, isn't it? Because we want to make sure these things get the Gauss modules, because these satellites look kind of expensive. Um, so, and then also these, yeah, minus 50% speed boost is also why we've got these beacons here. So these things are now still super slow um that's not entirely surprising uh i think we just like assign these and see whether they keep up i don't think it's going to be a particularly big deal um yeah, and then we'll just we'll just run these the same way, and then, yeah, all of these rockets are sitting around waiting for me to figure out what to do with them, and so we're going to need. We're actually going to need this. 
Yeah, we're gonna need a couple of roboports and I think because I think we want to roboport control all of this. Um, and then also we're gonna need a roboport up here to, do, to to be able to do the same thing. Yeah, we may as well we may as well build all of these guys to the same specification now. And then we want Yeah, some some output chests and then We've got three request chests here, all of which are only going to need this kind of thing. Um, but we want to tie all of these to this rubber port. And these are all off to start with, yeah. And then these guys can also just like drop their stuff out here. Um, you've got, yeah, you've, this was weird old ways these patterns were set up. Let's let's make these things symmetrical as well. Uh, because we can. That's a nice thing that we like. Um, okay, so. Yeah, these guys are going to just drop whatever else, else out they need here. And then here we want a... We want the sequence that we... This is where we're going to do all of our exotic tech requests. Um, we're going to launch all the different kind of probes here. Deep Space Probe, and yeah, then at some point, and I don't even think I bother about it yet, we want to figure out how to connect these inserters based on properties of things we have or don't have. And I think this this one is the Deep Space one that just launches, yeah, this one, this one I think we don't actually limit at all. I... Uh, that was actually not the correct way to do things, was it? I think at this point we can kind of just launch all of these rockets and not really worry about it. Yeah, this this deep space one we definitely want to kick out. The This one that gives us 10 rocket launch products, yeah. So I think we... I was going to say, I'll, I'll think about this in between. Is it just going to be a pretty straightforward thing? Because we're going to say if we have less than 10 of these in if we have t less than 10 basic space data cards in the network we will launch these things um and then this one gives us back was that the correct did i actually use the yeah green and then this one is the pale ones if we have less than 40 because we know we need these for a lot of things and then this one is also just like this one always just runs just like keep keep building those things um, and then these three like so and then also linked here and then this is hopefully a pattern we can use in a variety of places um, to just get a lot of stuff out and then I don't know if this is going to keep up I kind of don't really mind if this is going to keep up. How many are you requesting? You're requesting six, and then you guys turn off if I have more than ten. Um, so, so I think this is just going to kick out a large... I don't know what this ore stacks to, which is going to be interesting. Um, give, me, give me all of these, and then put all of this in here. We're stacking to 100 ore. Uh, so... So I think what I'm actually going to do is kind of a nasty little depot thing. And we're just going to have... At some point we will change... Yeah, at some point we will change these inserters um, to point the other way and move everything back into the logistics network. But I don't actually have anything to do with Deep Space Ore yet. Um, but I will later. So we are just going to cache it. Uh, we're going to have all these rocket parts getting you converted into all of these rockets, which is fine. Um, yeah, so then the other thing I wanted to check is, are we actually... Yeah, we do have a decent number of satellites over here. Where is this train? Is this train on the way back? Kind of. Um, yeah, we haven't got... We're in a position of... How many of these things do we have? Um, do I want... Let's have more of a buffer of all of these things. And then you just need... Yeah, the other... Ah, I do actually need... 
more of these satellites. Maybe I do actually want to beacon these harder or differently. Uh, because then I'm also going to get... Yeah, we're also going to get some inserter capacity issues as well. And then we are back into the position of being blocked on solar and accumulators, which is not a thing I'm super surprised or even upset about. Uh, let's just go back and check that all of these... Uh, was that close? I wasn't even paying attention. Um, yeah, we've kind of dropped the bottom out of those. I mean, it's not entirely surprising because we have just massively increased the amount of stuff that we want to be manufacturing. Uh, which is funny, I think we just need more of these. Um, and that's also a thing that we can just do at some point. Um, in fact, uh, copy that pattern, because all of that is stuff that's just in the mall. Um, wander over here, uh, take, take some of this stuff out, uh, get some of these out of the way as well, and then, actually I'm going to put it over here, because I seem to need a lot of these satellites. Uh, so getting, yeah, I kind of need more of, I need to go and get more gorse modules, we're going to yeah, balance, balance this out a bit for the moment. Uh, yeah, I need to get, I need to wander back over to the other mod module upgrade section and get another three, get another three girls modules for everything else. Why are you, yeah, we're now, we are now pulling more stuff in, so that's fine. Um, these guys are all just going to be, yeah, we're just going to keep going um, a lot. Am I worried? I'm not really worried about making so much deep space ore that I fill up all of these chests. Um, let's actually first just... Actually, the other thing we can do is just, like, we've got these other larger power poles here, we can just throw this in. Um, so yeah, now, we've, now we're going to have... We're going to start working on a giant space ore buffer. Uh, we may or may not be blocked for rocket component parts. Uh, we should go and put those other inserters in. We should make the other space science actually run because I don't know that we've done that yet and then this asset I don't think this needs to be here at all I don't think yeah because this asset is how we get the exotic matter from rocket launchers but we're not getting exotic matter from rocket launchers we're getting exotic matter from uh, the Covarex loop so let's find yeah here's here's this one inserted that we needed to, to make the rest of this build work um, and then, do we have, I have the robo ports, I have the robo ports, I have the charging stations, I think that's going to be enough stuff to get the other rocket, yeah, to get the new rocket silo online, um, which is nice because it means this episode, oh yeah, and then we just pushed past the purple science build, um, this is also as it turns out, not a build we need. So, Purple Science can go away. Um, all of this can go away. This is all just in the main logistic network. So, yeah, this is on, like, the, the primary ribbon network. So, all of this can just disappear. And then bots can help me get rid of these things. And then, have we... Yeah, I've already got rid of all the train stations. So, this is all just about emptying these things out of all well, that one's going to be yeah both of these are going to be kind of ugly um, and there's also a train station over here that doesn't want to be uh, but yeah all of this all of this can just disappear uh, there's this this old purple science build is not a thing that needs to exist the bots are going to have quite a few jobs now um, but that's also fine so that that purple science will soon cease to exist the yellow science Where's the yellow science? Yellow science is over here, which is already partly not existing. Um, and then, yeah, that doesn't want to exist. Where am I getting rich water from? I don't want rich water here anymore. In fact, I think I probably want to save this rich water and pump it in the other direction. I definitely don't want lubricant, and I don't even think I care about lubricant. Um, and... Yeah, we're on a... Yeah, so we'll go and make sure these guys get all their fuel. And then the last thing to do is to head over to this new space science node. 
and make sure that it gets everything it wants. And that we can then... Um, we also need to snap it off the grid, don't we? That is an important thing before we start calling trains in and just dumping a bunch of rocket parts into the general storage. Um, so these two need to go. And then... Do we have... Interesting. Do we have... No, good. Okay. Because um, I was kind of expecting this train to stop by and bring us some of those. Oh, because it's not coming to the space dance stop. That is a good reason. Okay, where is the... Uh, here's the science train. This train needs to also go to space science. Space science. Um, and let's go here first. And then also let's wait here for 30 seconds. And then, yeah. So we should get satellites here, which will be fine. We will need to snap these parts off the grid. Um, all of those guys are complaining about not having rubber port support yet because they didn't add it. And then this layout is kind of a little bit awkward. Uh, we're going to figure out where we can put some rubber ports because these rubber ports don't want to exist. Um, and then these these rubber ports. Yeah, if we were more if we were more central, we would have. some better options of where these things could go without kind of overlapping the rest of... Yeah, because here's... Yeah, there aren't too many places that... Like, we can't move... Really? Uh, okay. You guys get a disappointed power pole. Um, yeah, these... These two can't move any further over to the side without accidentally running into the other grid, which we must absolutely not cross. Um, because the next thing we also want to do is... Uh, I guess you guys over here are also getting... Yeah, so the purple and yellow signs can stay here. Um, oh, you also needed... Yeah, that's that's a reason why you don't have a thing. Yeah, you, you just... You just keep on doing that thing. Um, and I'll remember the things that I needed to set up but haven't. And then, this, this connection here should make all three, and you do have enough, you do have enough unloading space, don't you? Oh, you actually don't have enough unloading space. This, this actually needs to be two tiles back. Um, because that's where the, yeah, the, like, the front wagon is forwards, and then these are the two stations. Sort of move everything back a bit. I'm going to have to go and check the other build, whether or not that happens as well. Uh, but we do have, we got some bots here, so that's fine. We can put all these bots in these places. And um, we also still, remember how we started the episode not having the logistics boxes and needing the other bots to bring us logistics boxes? logistics boxes uh, we're doing the same thing again so we want to find um that's not that one doesn't actually have any how are these guys doing yeah they're slowly getting through it it's fine um did these guys here yeah i want one of these logistics boxes um in the main network please and then we've also got to do the same train fuel jump um these guys are yeah they're getting they're getting stuff done it's fine uh, and then do we actually have... No, because we don't have this... The, we need this train to turn up, um, which is heading back to the science unloading station. And then I think these bots, yeah, also don't have the things they need. So that's... Yeah, we're... I mean, the, these train stations are still going to be calling in the things they need, and we're still going to be all turning it into rockets pretty fast. In fact, these things probably want... They probably want increased limits is that true i think we're going to increase these limits anyway i and then that 10 second thing is also kind of where we're hitting a limit um yeah is is fine we're just going to request so that, i mean that's requesting 20 stacks of each thing so we're probably still 
going to be able to fit all of that in all of these chests. Um, and yeah, we've got we've got some rockets turning up. You want to yeah, you you're kind of on your way back over here anyway. Um, and we want yeah, so we've got way out on the west section of this grid, we have yeah, a pile of robots doing stuff. Um, this train, when it turns up, I think that's going to be the end of the episode. We will call it there and we will declare it successful. We should see a couple of satellites in here, which get moved to the central box. Um, we then should launch a bunch of rockets and then should have a more effective method of, yeah, just moving. Wait, did I just... Yeah, we're going to call actually brought this back to 200 because i was thinking that was 20 stacks of stuff it's actually a hundred stacks of stuff isn't it um because these things are not particularly dense they are low density items um and then yeah that actually 10 seconds past is a pretty hilarious thing okay um the last thing i wanted to do was somewhere I, and I might have to beacon the labs differently at this point. That's the purple science that we're deconstructing. Um, that's the module, yeah, over here. This is what this looks like now. This is also the science unload for the space science, which is very exciting. That is a thing that we wanted to do. We have now, we have now got the mega base thing happening, which is nice. Um, are these... Yeah, we do need to get these logistics chests in here just so that all of these things can kind of empty themselves out. But oh well, never mind. Where is this train? Um, and how are we doing with wo robot worker speed? Um, it is 160,000. We have got through more of it than usual. Um, gonna keep an eye on the. Oh, here's the, here's the train. But yeah, this is much better. We are sustaining more of this stuff, um, and then all three of these trains are. All three of these trains? Oh no, wait, the, yeah, we haven't set auto launch with rock with component. That's kind of an important deal. Um, over here, um, you actually just wait here for a moment. Um, yeah, this is, this is a good time. We are launching rockets, we are getting a lot of science, and we are bringing in a lot of rocket components, and as soon as these things uh, all these guys don't have requests. That is a good thing to also notice. Um, 2,000? Probably not 2,000. Probably like 500. Because we have a large number of different things to assign this request to. Uh, so yeah, that's, that's pretty much what we wanted to do, I suppose. Um, you get in there. Yeah, that's three rocket launchers worth of stuff. Um, go and unload that to the space science. We've now got a lot of satellites sitting around. Um, we've we yeah we're just we're just yeah this is just a bunch of logimol stuff. This is this is fine. We have I think these are the mega base goals for purple and yellow and space science. So that's great. And now we can just go and think about doing mod stuff because there's there's those fancy magnets to do. There's those fancy pink purple circus to do and we need all of those and we are now getting into the i guess the meat of the late game we are now done with the early section of the late game and we need to be into the bulk of the main section of the end game uh which is yeah just pushing through what four and a half million science so that's fine that that's lots of things it's good 